I'm Jason Kelly from Ginkgo Bioworks. Uh, Ginkgo's mission is to make it easier to engineer biology. Uh, the way we're doing that is basically we have a, an integrate we call it integrated organism engineering platform. Right? Basically, it's a set of tools, and software, hardware, wetware that our organism engineers can use to build a microbe to specification for one of our customers. Um, that's a real key idea behind Ginkgo. Uh, the ultimate product out of Ginkgo is an, is an engineered microbe, so we don't actually produce a particular chemical, uh, even though we have uh, sort of customers in you know, flavor, fragrance, cosmetics, nutraceuticals, pharmaceuticals, places like that. that. You know, those people ultimately are the best people to understand a particular market for a given molecule and to scale up and produce and market that molecule, but in many cases they don't have experience with deploying uh, an engineered organism to produce a product in their area, and so they would work with Ginkgo. We agree on a specification for a microbe, we would build that to spec, and then our customer would deploy it and then sell the product. Yeah, so I think the, this is I think the biggest challenge across all of synthetic biology right now. You know, I think we're at, we're at sort of a turning point that to me is a lot like where we were kind of in the, in the early 80s where there's a set of technologies that have come together that make it sort of qualitatively easier to engineer uh, organisms today. Uh, and that idea has to sink in to people that don't traditionally think of biotech affecting their business because it's going to be affecting their business, right? The fact that we can now manipulate what is ultimately a very, very powerful engineering substrate means it's going to disrupt all these different industries that don't, that don't traditionally deal with it. And so educating customers so that they realize that's coming and that they want to get ahead of that wave by interacting with companies like Ginkgo and some of the other folks here, um, I think is the, that's the number one challenge. Uh, I think it's really an open question, to be honest. Um, so we, I try to keep an open mind about it. Uh, I think I, you know, I think some of the things you've heard uh, t from myself and others today around kind of higher value chemicals, I think people have moved that way since there's been a lot of challenges around producing commodities. Um, but then you see folks working in you know diagnostics and things, uh, released organisms like uh, for mining applications and for uh, agricultural applications. Uh, so I think I think it's. I think it's extremely unpredictable, right? It's like it's like asking where was the value going to be in semiconductors in 1955, right? You know, you, you just it's very hard to know, but I think it's extremely clear that we're going to be, you know, 5 years from now we're going to be 50 times better at engineering microbes and there's no question that that's going to open up a lot of new application areas. So for us, I think one of the, the challenges is to understand the interface to kind of scaling up, uh, scaling up these microbes. Um, I think you can sort of choose your targets wisely to, to make that a little easier on yourself. But I think there's a, a key challenge in saying, you know, Ginkgo wants to basically focus just on making the microbe. We don't really want to have to produce the product, so we need good partners to to help us uh, take those take those to scale.